here at Fishers Island, New York. It's actually two miles off the coast of Connecticut, but it's still a part of New York. And what I'm doing here is this is an actually an abandoned military base that I'm at today. We had to take a plane to get here, but it was well worth it. So this island originally started in the 1700s. This was a big farming island because of the rich soil. They had tons of farms and tons of cattle here. And during the Revolutionary War, the British would constantly come and invade this place, take the crops, burn all, uh, burn all the land, and uh, kill the animals. And so they would just constantly sack this place, and then they would attack New London. And so then later in the 1800s, the uh, military bought the western part of this land, and in 1885 they started to heavily arm this place. Uh, they brought in uh, tons of soldiers, they did lots of rifle practice on this actual island. So there's lots of gun, uh, gun shells around still, you can find them in the water. And so they started you know, heavily fortifying this place. It actually became one of the most heavily fortified places in the whole US. Uh, this, little, this little island, it's a very small island. So to heavily fortify this place, they actually put this little cement circle you can see behind me, uh, the grass right there, there actually used to be a 12 inch mortar gun and that would protect the coast of New London and New York City and their major uh, ports. They would be constantly attacked by the British or whoever is coming and landing. And so this was, this is one of the uh, one of the spots. There's a couple around the island we're going to go to. And actually, just this hill, just over this hill, you can actually go into this little uh, cement cement little base where they would keep all the mortar cannon, mortar cannons and uh, shells and all the guns and everything. So we're actually going to go check that out as well. And I think this is going to be fun. Let's go. You can see this is what this would be the little you know the circle everyone would walk around and the gun would be right here. Unfortunately it's been removed so you can't see it anymore. This grass is where the huge mortar gun would be that would protect the island. And this little uh, you know, hill right here, we're gonna go around and we're gonna try and get inside this hill because it's actually hollowed out inside. This looks to be an entrance. There's a campfire here. Let's see if we can actually get inside this right here because that would be really cool. Oh, you can! It's very small, but we can get in there. Alright, I'm gonna have to break out the flashlight. I feel like I do this too often. This is just like that ape cave. Oh, it's echoey. Alright. So I just came through this hole, which luckily was open. But we now have entered the military base. Look at those chairs. Doesn't that look, that's a bullet hole right there, it looks like. You see that? If they were attacked and bullets went through this, that would be crazy. So, I don't know if it's scratched off or if I'm missing it. Oh no, it says room one, okay. Let's check this out. What's in, what's behind door number one? Not a whole lot. Probably shelves. Either, the shelf either was where they're building something. I doubt they would store the ammunition right by the entrance. Probably a little farther in. It's probably just a, little workroom. This is so cool though. And now I'm here by myself. Check out how old this rust is. This goes back to the 1800s. Hundreds of years old. I'm expecting to see a skeleton sitting in a chair. That's what I'm hoping for. Whoa, oh my god. You gotta be careful. I could have just walked into that. It's like a secret tunnel. Actually, it doesn't go anywhere. But I wonder what was down there. Probably stored some secret ammunition. That's the cap right there. And this is just a whole bunch of trash. Another little storage area. 
Really cool though. So just to think, all this was built inside of that hill. It just looks like a normal hill, but all of this was built inside. It made it look like there wasn't anything here. <laughs> look at that. Chicken breast tenderloins. What is there a bag of chicken doing in here? Who's got a microwave? So I'm guessing these are all just empty rooms. Probably rifles would be in here. This is where they would come and stock up, do uh, target practice. They'd, well, they'd obviously do target practice outside, but that's where the rifles would be. But just look at these doors. Those are some heavy duty doors. Very dark, the ceiling is pitch black, and it's dripping with water, it looks very spooky. It's just dripping, it's like moist. It looks like a thousand eyes. Look at that. That's something out of a horror movie. I hope you guys aren't hearing this terrible echo. Oh my god. There's just a single plank that goes to the next part. This place is a lot bigger than I thought too. Um, I don't know if I trust this plank. Well, I'm gonna have to, I guess. We did it. We did it, oh my god. This place is so much bigger than I thought. Check out this ceiling. It's all, I don't even know what that is. It looks like uh, wood, it looks like wood, uh, wood scraps. Almost like mulch. There are so many openings in the ground. Wow, lots of control boxes too. And these old lights. Very cool. Almost just walked into that. That's the thing with abandoned places. A lot of times they're very unsafe because you're looking at one thing and you don't notice a hole in the floor. Or you're looking at the ground and you don't notice you're about to walk into something hanging. Check this out. Valve A. So that's the main valve. This was a game. You'd have to come find valve A, turn it off, find valve V, valve B, <laughs> turn that one off, find C, turn that off, and then finally you'd have the access to the mainframe. <laughs> if this were a game. You know, looking at that hill, it didn't look this big. It just goes off. So many different directions, I'm getting lost. Check this room out. Let's see what's down here. Another room. You could easily get lost in this. Look at this. So many different routes you can go. And for some reason I'm always drawn to the crawl spaces. I'm just as, oh look at that, an exit. I'm just as lost as you guys are. I'm actually crawling through spider webs. These look like tombs. Three slabs in the middle of the floor. What could those be? To me, they look like Egyptian tombs. What they actually are, I'm not sure. crazy to think that this whole place was hidden underneath this hill. There's a couple more around this place 
And if you were if you were someone coming to you know attack this place, you might not suspect it from above. You didn't you wouldn't think that it was so heavily armed. Uh, I mean, you'd see the guns, you'd see the mortar cannons on the on the beach, but you wouldn't see this hill that just looks like a mossy hill. It looks like something from Lord of the Rings, just a mossy hill, but underneath there's all this ammunition, all this heavy artillery, and that's probably why they were so, you know, so well protected and fortified, protecting New York City and New London and all the major seaports. This must be the other entrance that's blocked off right now. Just a whole bunch of trash. But yeah, this is the other end. There was two entrances. So this is the giant gate that would be blocking the entrance to, uh, to the, you know, the base. All the ammunition. This is what it would look like on the other side. But the other ones have been ripped off, it seems. So you can't get through this side. And you can just barely get through the other side. But that's it for this one. I'm going to go try and find another one now. I do this way too often. Ugh. All right, on to the next one. Now that I'm out of that one, I am in for a hike now. I have to walk down the beach to the other one. It should be a couple miles, but uh, you know, it should be fun. Gotta go find that one. And then after that, I'm actually gonna go head out into the water and I'm gonna try and find some shells. Cause they used to, there was a little uh, port here and they would load all the ammunition and a lot of times it would fall over the edge and there'd be lots of shells still in the water. So I'm gonna go see if I can find some gun shells after. Thickness. Hi. I have no idea how I'm doing this. Back in Nam, trudging through, making even more holes in my pants. <laughs> We've gotten to the wall. We're almost there. Just a few more bushes. Whoa! Look at that. Oh my God, this is so cool. I can tell you, we're probably the only ones who have been here. No one is climbing through that. That was the worst climb I've ever had to do to get to any place like this. That was terrible, but we're here. This is another part of the abandoned military base. This is another fort of hanging wires. It's very green here as well. Everything's got a green tint to it. Let's see what's in so this. It looks like there's all this old wood here. They might have been trying to do something a while ago. Just left it. Check out that rusty door. Hello. Yep. Still echoey. It's probably where they held some more. Wow, it's really echoey in here. It's probably where they held some more ammunition. This is a better lookout point over the beach. So it's really nice because from up here, you can see a lot more and you can radio in down to the other spots. It's a huge tunnel it looks like. I wonder if it connects to the other one. Cause this must be in the side of the hill. Cause you cannot see this from down there. That's a heat controller right there. It takes all the moisture out. Although you can see it's still really wet in here. Really damp. Small little closet. <laughs> what was this? I literally addressed that. I wonder what that was. Storage.
a lot of damp, empty rooms. Check out this door. That is really cool. Let's find out. Nope. That's not opening. This one's open. This one's the, oh, the powder room. It's where you put your makeup on. Just kidding. It's where all the gunpowder is. Or was. Oh, this is the same room as this one. That door. Everything is so wet in here. The moisture is insane. I think these were rollers for the ammunition. They would take the large mortars and roll them down these tracks to where they would be shot out. Check that out. Look at these too. These are just different weights. That's it. Whoa. Yeah, a ton of fluorescent lights down there. Check this out. That board is not sturdy. This is something. All this rustic water. You know, it looks like a bench. Yeah, it looks like some sort of furnace. Wow, look at that machine. So from what it looks like above me, see these pipes? This looks like it was a climax. Clinton, Iowa. This was a diesel generator. Outside, they would pump in the diesel and this would generate a lot of electricity throughout this whole entire base. We've made it to the other end. It looks like it's just another, this is that other one that I was showing from the drone shots. Luckily, we don't have to climb up this one too. It just connects, which is so nice. We just walk a tunnel in between, in between the mountain. But imagine if this wasn't here. Imagine the view you could get looking out over the beach. This was some sort of radar that was hooked up into this place. And it would help them. It would tell them where ships were and if they were coming close by. And there's all, all, those, um, all those things you saw in there. They weren't actually, uh, well a lot of them were electrical and they would run and they would run the wires in through the ground and they would operate it in fr from inside of this place. And I'm just starting to put this together over here. If you look over here, you'll see. You see this outline of a fence? It's like a metal fence. And on the side, you can see, very slightly, there was a metal ring right here. And the metal ring goes around the whole side. So it goes around this whole thing. And this is where the giant gun would sit. And they would have those rollers and roll in all the ammunition and then from here, they could turn 180 degrees and fire off at coming ships. And that tunnel, what you could go from either side, this side to that side, either way. And what's so cool about it is that it's all overgrown, it's all built into a mountain, so there's all these trees on top of it, and from above, you wouldn't expect it. And from the sea, you can barely see it. You just see like a little hole in the side of a mountain, and it's just so well covered. It's just, it's so cool that this place is here, and still, it's still like, you know, together. This tunnel hasn't collapsed. It's still sta standing strong, it looks like. It's just so wild that this place is here. Well guys, it only took a million different cuts on my arms to get up here, but I made it. I'm on top of the, uh, the thing we were just on. We were just underneath, and I just climbed up uh, on top of it. And from up here, you can see the whole beach. You can see everything. This is what it would look like if the, all those, thi all those uh, vines and trees weren't blocking it. This is the view you get from over there. It's a pretty nice view.
So I brought some snorkeling gear out here and uh, I'm gonna try and snorkel out there, see if we can find any little bit of ammunition, anything that they might have dropped off the ship because they have a port here, or they used to back in the day, and they were just notorious for dropping stuff off the edge and just having a bad system. So people have found tons of stuff over here and we're gonna see if we can find anything. Check this out. This is a bomb detonator. We were literally in the water for about two seconds. Mostly we couldn't stay in the water because of these little devils right here. See these? Those things have tentacles in all of this water and they hurt. But while we were in there, my dad found this within 30 seconds. And what this is, it looks like a bomb detonator. It's a fuse to a bomb. This goes on the top. It has little tick, tick marks on it, and you can tell it's all worn and everything. It's been, it's been knocking around the ocean for a while. If, uh, if we didn't have to get out because of the pain that we were in, we probably could have found a lot more because we found this really quick. So I'm gonna do some more research on this, see what I can find, but that's pretty cool. We found this just within 30 seconds. So I'm sure if we were out here and we weren't being killed, we could find a lot more. I mean, look at this, they got this giant, engine right here just laying on the beach. There's tons of stuff, tons of history at this place and that's just still yet to be uncovered. But uh, we're taking off now, we are beat. It's been a rough day. And uh, so I wanna say thank you to Don, he was my dad's friend who flew us here. And I wanna say thank you to my dad cause you know, they, he helped me out and paved the way for this whole thing. He was like the guy taking down all the branches and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's been a fun day. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on all my social media. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. All right guys, so I've just gotten back and I've done more research on what this actually is. And this is actually the head of the mortar. A 12 inch mortar round that is shot out of the cannon. This, uh, it actually screws on, I'll show you the picture they have it without this, this on. And there's little threads here. And so this screws on and when it hits the point, this is what sends the charge through to the mortar and makes it explode. So this right here is a mortar fuse and this is, this is what makes it go boom. <laughs> it's just so crazy that we actually found this. I was expecting to find little gun shells or something in the water, but we actually found this. And it's really cool that we actually can, you know, we can tell what it is now. It's not like it obviously didn't explode um, because it's still in, it's still intact. It doesn't look like the other ones in the pictures where it was completely crushed. Uh, it just looks like it's been washed around for a little bit uh, in the sand, probably for years and years and years, and it's been stuck under a rock because that's where we found it. But uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Look at all those. This is the true gates of hell. That other place was nothing compared to this.